Welcome back to our channel. I am here today with my beautiful daughter, Elena. Um, she's not been here a long time because we've been busy with school. But today, she's gonna show us how to make a beautiful strawberry cake that's easy and it's pretty fast. Mm -hmm. So if someone called you in the morning and would say, I'm coming over for dinner, you could do it in one day. And um, yes, Elena is very skilled in the kitchen. I know a lot of you asked for her to make some Benuelos that are very good, very delicious. And I think she'll do it next time. I actually thought of a lot of ideas and things Elena's great at, so she'll have to come back again mm. as long as we're not busy with school. She is a, what a sophomore? 10th grade, I always forget. Sophomore. Mm. That's forget. Them. Yes, sophomore. <laughs> and it's one of the words I always forget. She's a sophomore in high school, so she's been just busy with online school. Okay, you ready to get mm -hmm. started? You want to show a strawberry cake? Ready? Mm. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's start. Mm -hmm. Use mm -hmm. vanilla cake mm -hmm. mix. Elena's favorite is Buddy Crocker. And we thought we'd show you this way because it's so mm -hmm. easy. Mm -hmm. Then use a half a cup of water, mm -hmm. three mm -hmm. eggs, and mm -hmm. oil. Mm -hmm. One half cup. Yes, and this is an easy way to make like strawberry cake fast and easy because this was the idea to make this was fast, easy, delicious. If you mix it a, a lot, it'll taste gross. Yes, do not over mix your cake mix. Elena said she did it one time before, right? And she said last time it was bad. I failed. She was like, what, what's wrong with my cake? So then we're gonna turn on our oven, 350, and we tried a new pan this time. Whose idea? From my dad. He gave me a new cake pan. It was so much better. I learned from dad. I'm always learning from him. Yes, and we used, so we used a spring form pan, like you use for like a cheesecake, and it worked so good because it made it more like mm -hmm. flat and even. It was like a great idea. The only thing is it took a little bit longer mm -hmm. to bake, right? Boom, boom, bake boom, 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 45, 50 boom, minutes. It's not ready. Boom, Just use a toothpick and check boom, to see if the okay, cake is ready. Yes, and it will be clean when you pull it out and that's why you know if it is ready. When it's ready, it's gotta go cool off for a long time like four hours maybe into the refrigerator. Yeah. And then we're gonna start on, yeah, see it's a cool down. You not wanna put the fun. We're gonna start with four cups of whipped cream. We're just gonna pour it into our bowl and whip it up. We thought this would be a fun way of doing it. And then two teaspoons of vanilla. She thinks it tastes the best. We thought it would be the best way because Elena can't sign and, you know, communicate with her sign language when she was cooking. So we thought this way would be fun to show you this way. And she goes, sugar, I just use several teaspoons and I just mix it up. Yes, and you just continue to mix it until it becomes whipped cream. Yes, and we did the sugar to taste, right? If you want more sugar, just add more. She tried it. Yeah, and I think we added just a little bit more. We have to taste it, right? Yes. And this is an easy cake, and I loved it the first time I saw it because I was like, wow, it's so impressive to bring to like someone's house or if someone's coming for dinner and it's easy, right? We can all learn to do it really fast. Okay, with strawberries, you're gonna cut them a lot. You get the green tops off and make sure you make them thin. Yes, you wanna cut our strawberries pretty thin, not so thick and even, right? So we're gonna cut them all. You gotta get the green tops off. You did great cutting it. I know it's hard with your vision to see sometimes, but you did great. Makes me a little anxious to watch her cut since she's visually impaired. But Eleni, you did great on this cake. I'm loving all your cooking and baking. You've been doing so great in the kitchen when you've been at home. Mm. She's been cooking all kinds of things like um, 
we're gonna do the bombellos and then we're doing she does she makes her own fondant for her cakes like and it tastes good when you go to weddings sometimes and you try fondant like on a wedding mm -hmm. cake you don't know because you're not trying a lot of wedding cakes but it tastes oh <laughs> yuck so yours tastes so delicious we're going to show you another part that you really need to be cut pretty thin for you to make this decoration on top of your cake really work mm -hmm. right Yes, and she said to also take, if it has bad parts of the strawberries, make sure you cut it off. Don't use it. Yes. So, and then she added just a little bit of sugar. Yeah. To make it taste better. Just just a few teaspoons, is that correct? Right. Okay, so just like a couple, and you can try it. Um, one problem, we not have the special top for the cake, like the bottom bottom part, like the little, um, what do they call it, like, cake, uh, the bottom part, you usually put your cake decorated, so we used, we had some wax paper, so my husband, yeah, he had the idea, well, you just put it on the bottom, and you really want it, because you not, you want to make it, like, um, not have it get all over your cake so when you're finished decorating it we'll take off the paper mm. and it'll look beautiful on the cake so then we turned out your cake mm. right mm. and it was mm. easy mm. you being poor mm. fam mm. Matter, mm. better mm. support mm. yes she said if you use a lazy susan it gives more support when you're decorating your cake mm. 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 You want to make sure you cut it half and that it's really even. Yes, it's important to have it really even when you cut it in half. That's the important part of this part. We're going to cut it in half and save the other part for later. Later. Tongue tied. Yes. So there it is. Elena cut it in half. You did great. This is the hard part of doing like a lot of different layers on a cake don't you think that yeah mm -hmm. yeah i think that too mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. kind of took the strawberry mm -hmm. with the sugar mm -hmm. and the juice from for the cake for the top mm -hmm. and it really tastes delicious so we just took the strawberries and we drained the juice out mm -hmm. right yes whose idea was that but that was my dad mm -hmm. I'm always learning from dad. Like strawberry cake. Oh, I learned it from dad. Yes. Uh, my husband's always teaching us all something at home. And Elena loves to learn from her dad. So, poured on the juice from the strawberries onto the cake. And I thought it would make it soggy, like what? But it did not. It made it taste so good. Yes, it was so good. Move the, a big mound of whipped cream, put it on, then use your special spatula, spot it out, and then we're gonna add the strawberries. Make sure it's not all out. You need to leave the outside edges, not have strawberries or it will like stick out. Right. Then add more whipped cream, another half. And we add more cream. Add the other half of the cake and then we add more cream. Yes. And then we use our special cake spatula. And this is the important part to make it make sure hot water to make it more flat. Yes. If you dip your spatula into hot water, I can see your popsicles next to you. Just in there eating popsicles while she's decorating. <laughs> Anyways, but yes, you gotta use hot water on your spatula to make sure that your cake is like flat, flat, even, and then what are we going to do next once you get it all flat and even? Yes. And we just pull off our wax paper and then when we're finished, the important part before we add our strawberries was to put it into... She said, I pulled it ripped. I had to ask my dad to help me get off the paper. Yes. And then we're going to add it into the refrigerator or the freezer for a little bit. 
Add more. Okay, pull the paper. Yeah, this, my dad helped me just a little. Yes, the top. Make sure the strawberries. Make sure that you stack them up on top of each other to make the flower. We're gonna stack them and she's gonna show us how. So make sure though in between we added um, a little bit more of the whipped cream and then we put it into the freezer because you want it all flat, even, and we did use some hot water to make sure uh, that it was flat. Then we're gonna start stacking up the mm. strawberries and Elena's gonna show us how. I think the important part is the first few like stacking mm. layers, you know? Yeah. I think you have to have a lot of um, focus, you know, focus. I don't know if I can make this game. I'm sure I could, but it's a lot of work to pay attention. I mean, if you were making for someone else, so you could put on some gloves. I know we use our hands, those gloves, but I'm not sure if you're like at work. Yeah, like if you're at dad's work. Yeah, like if you're making a hotel or your friends, but this was for us at home and who ate a lot of the cake? Elena ate most of the cake, right? Yeah, uh, she uh, eats what she bakes, right? Even though she is so skinny. But here we are adding in our second um, layer. And this is the other like important part that is kind of stacking on top. Yes, and it goes around and you're gonna just stack them. And you have to make sure that they're lined up. Yes, okay, yes, and that you stack them up. This is some of the important parts. So, well, this was a lot of fun to do with you. Will you come back again? Yes, I will, but I have to try. I have free time from school. Yeah, from my online schooling. We have to just do it when we have free time, which is not a lot. Elena has been studying hard. We just finished our first semester. I think you made all A's. We'll find out next week. but. Lena works hard in school. She really does, and she's doing great. Wow, it is really coming along now. Look how much is stacking. Yes, it does take a little time. If you want a special um, flower, yes, it's your decision if you want to add a special flower to the top of it. Look how beautiful it came out, Elena. Wow, it is just like so impressive, but it was so easy to do. I think we all could like do it for fun or you want to eat it and just all oh, the fresh strawberries, they were so good. Make sure the bottom looks some, add some strawberries to make sure it looks beautiful and delicious. Yeah, so she added in the bottom row of strawberries with just that added little, um, yes. And then of course, coming up here, it is almost done and looking beautiful. You all need to try this. I think it's like a fun cake to make with your family or maybe when you're having like a little like baby shower, baby shower or I don't know, just some friends over. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's almost springtime, summertime. Cannot wait for it to come. I am tired of the darkness here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want the sun back. There it is, it's just about almost all finished. Okay, it's all finished, we're ready to eat. Mm. Elena's ready to eat now, you wanna try it together? You ready? Here, I'll try it with you. Okay, you're ahead of me. Mm. <laughs> So that's so oh. delicious. The mixed cake with the strawberries, mm -hmm. the cream, mm -hmm. it's so good. It is good. It's so, I have fresh, creamy. Yeah. Oh my God, look. That's so good. <laughs> yeah. That is so good, right? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming today and watching our video. Make sure you subscribe, yes. Thumbs up, thumbs up for Elena. And next week we have something really, really special. It's gonna be fun, so come back. We'll see you next week. Bye.